<clears throat> All right, so next thing we're going to do here. Uh, let me actually post this real quick here. All right, so um, I just want to start building up now once I've got this done here. Um, <clears throat> I have got, there's a lot of little things I get to do, but I think I'll do those off camera. And that's kind of just organize the scene and, and take care of things that way. Um, but one of the things I wanted to work on was, you know, thing uh, something like this, where I'm going to build up. Uh, like different ACs here. So I'm going to probably take this window here and just snap it off like so. And I'll do a copy of it. And I'm going to probably do two of them, probably just, just for variation. And so the first thing I'm going to do is go into this editable poly here <clears throat> and just start kind of building up on, on different different pieces here. So like this one I think I'll change around on the top and something like that. You know, keep it simple. Um, then maybe I'll <coughs> excuse me. Then maybe what I'll do is let's see here, let's try I'll just do a tube here. And since I'm already on the ground here, I'm just gonna do something like that. Oops. So, and we're going to grab this and I'm going to grab a plane too, I think. I'm going to do a plane real quick here. Just kind of do like that. And this plane I'm going to get rid of all of those. I'm going to add some these in here just to kind of keep it normal here like so and then we go into create an edible poly here and it's actually pretty simple just select every other one here like so and because these are going to be far away I don't need to, to worry about you don't need to worry too much about the uh, kind of angle of things and so all I'm going to do is move this this way and then move it over like that and it turns it into kind of a kind of a I don't know what you want to call it a, like a venting system here and I think that's good we're going to do that and then this here I'm going to play around with it here like so um, so let's see here we're going to move that a little bit bigger. Move this a little bit bigger, like so. You don't need that many. And I'm gonna probably go see if 10 looks good. Eh, 12. No, it's 12. That's yeah, okay. I mean, maybe a little bit more. Maybe um, 15. That looks good. Okay, so with that in place, then I'm going to convert this to a poly, and we're just going to grab the edge loop here, and I'm going to chain for that. Now, I'm going to probably have to do this mathematically, yep, so let's do this, and start just a simple, something like that, I think that looks good, 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece and uh, copy it over like so. And we're just going to move something like that. Pretty simple. And I'm going to move it like so. And let's start. First thing is scaling it in a little bit. Grab the top half and we're going to scale that in a little bit. A little bit more. That's all I'm doing here is just fitting it in there so it, it fits. I don't have to have this as one piece. You know, especially something complex like this. They don't have to, you know, I don't have to have it that complex. I just have to have it good enough to kind of give the illusion. So you can see here. And there we go. We're just going to scale that in. Like so. And so that gives us you know, exactly what we're kind of doing here. I think we're going to have to scale that just a little bit out. Just to make sure they're not crossed. So that. And we're going to grab this and attach the outer piece here. And then the outer piece, I'm going to bring this up here like so. And we're going to rotate, uh, let's see here, I think 90 in the Y. Like so, move that up, kind of. Maybe even grab the element mode here and see if we can scale it down a little bit. Just and so it's simple as this, making sure that the, the variables are on the right side here. And then we're just going to clone that over and get it real kind of tight together. Kind of equidistant apart like so not too far apart. Grab this. Let's attach these two now. And so it's just going to clone the, the texture that I've already got on it. But I, I don't need, like, this doesn't need to be this, you know, super awe-inspiringly, you know, complex shape, especially since it's going to be kind of off in the background here. And so I'm just going to chain for this. And of course, that's way too much chamfer going on. So let's just kind of. Yeah, I think that's good. Just, just real simple. Keep it, keep it like that. And then, um, so let's add. So that's one of them. So let's finish up this one here. So we're going to grab this guy here. And I'm going to grab, um, I'm going to do it with a tube. I'll show you this this way. It, sometimes it, it's, sometimes you have to rethink things. So if we do four here, we get, we get a square. And then if we rotate it, uh, in the Z axis here, 45 degrees, so, and then what we can do is just take this tube and let's make sure that we are we look good here. So, I don't know, this will be good. We'll just kind of mesh that in place here. So, what happens is we take this and we're going to move it off to the side like so. And we're going to move it up here like so and I'm going to subtract one of these areas like that and I'm just going to move this one off oops I'm going to subtract actually both areas here just move this one off here like that like this move that down like that 
that's pretty simple. Grab this, and let's attach this piece, and it looks like it fits pretty nicely over it. Um, and then we're just going to take this and um, let's do a angle snap here. Or actually, let's snap to snap to face here. Let's see if that will work. I'm gonna just move this off the side here. And um, there we go. And so I'm going to just snap this to like so. And that's going to snap right up there like that. And we're going to rotate that one in the Y axis. So let's uh, go here. Let's try 45. Oops, 90. And that looks pretty solid, right? And then what we need to do is we need to just simply grab this, and I'm just going to grab this, and I'm going to turn off my angle snaps here, and I'm going to move that like so. And then I'm going to grab two of these pieces, so element-wise, and then we're just going to, actually, you know what, I'm going to just grab the center, and I'm going to scale up and move up like this, something like that. Grab the bottom piece, move it up, match it up like that. And so we can then grab this whole piece and kind of move it down. Grab the window again, attach, and done. So there is that. All right, so that essentially looks really decent. Um, now this one, like this, I don't have to worry about. Um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna play a little bit on this one actually. So we're gonna grab this polygon here, and I'm gonna move this out. So I'm gonna clean up the polygons before I kind of do all my stuff here. And so I'm gonna go polygon and uh, grab that back facing. Don't need that. Delete it. And then I'm going to grab this, and I'm going to inset it. And you can see it's crazy amount of inset here. So we're just going to do one, two, three, four, something like that, and say OK. And I'm going to delete that face. Okay. And the reason I'm doing that is that I can go into element, move this element back in place, so like so. And then we can go to vertice, target weld, and I'm going to grab this corner and move it in there. I'm going to grab this corner and move there. And these are like just snapping together then. And there we go. So that cleans up that, and that works nicely. Um, right click the close off. And so that I'm, I'm done with that. I'm not going to worry about. You know, trying to clean up all the the in between in between stuff. Um, this one here, I'm going to grab these two elements here, and the only thing I'm going to really do is I'm going to grab these and um, grab the back face here like so. And then, if you hold Shift while you select, you can actually so select one, go on to the next one, and you hit Shift while you click it, and it gives you the loop. And so from there. I'm going to grab these two and slide them back into place. So, kind of just making sure that they kind of touch. And if they don't touch, and if you know things don't line up right, you can always push these back a little bit more. All right, so we are good to go on that. And so that gives me two pieces to kind of. Uh, play with and, and manipulate. So what I can do is now these are our normals. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through a couple of these uh, bigger windows here and grab a uh, grab them and then kind of delete the back face and but I'm going to have to make them unique. So. All right, so to make those unique, I'm going to just go into uh, poly mode here. And see, if I delete one, if I delete one, I delete all of them. And I, I don't want to do that. 
so that's why I need to go back here and make make this one unique. That way I'm not like deleting the all these you know kind of pieces. And so I'm gonna just grab grab one of these, grab this, um, make sure my vertice is uh, checked, and then we're gonna angle snap and I'm going to hold shift down and this just snaps right into place. I don't have to think about it. I don't have to deal with any any of it. So it's, there we go. And so I'm going to probably do this to a couple, you know, a couple of these. Um, and because these are not, like, these are not that big a deal. I mean, these are just, you know, a couple of pieces. We're just going to make one unique, go into the... Uh, the window here and hit delete and then you know probably probably a couple of these other ones here and I'll I'll do that um, like this one here polygon hit delete oops and that's why we make unique all right so let's try this again hit delete so that one's good um, and then let's grab, I'm just going to grab this, hold shift and copy that off. And there we go. So that snapped right back into place here. That looks good. Um, so I've got, you know, different ACs kind of kind of pieced in there. Uh, maybe I'll grab... I don't think I'm going to grab one on here yet. Um, yeah, maybe I will. Screw it. Just grab this. Make one of these. Make one of those unique. And I could just... I mean, I could literally just take this and clone it in. Um, and that's, that's a completely feasible op option to here um, but I'm just kind of grabbing I, I'm not going to do a whole bunch of these here so I'm just gonna uh, gotta remember the focus here all right so let's rotate this this is going to be on the z-axis 90 degrees I think so fits right in there oh my god that fits like perfectly nice okay so there we go and then we can always grab this and attach there we go and that's all part of part of one um, and, you know actually making life a little easier let's grab this one here and uh, let's delete delete this grab this and uh, I'm gonna hold shift down and it's gonna snap right in there and we can even do instance, that's fine. And you can see it sticks out just a hair, so we're just gonna grab it and move it back in. Um, let's do this one here. And Let's do a rotate on this one, 180, and then move and snap right back into place, and that one looks good too. And before, let's again break polygon and delete here. I know this is kind of boring but something simple there we go so everything looks like it's solid I think I think I think I think yep and so let's just grab this and attach that in there and we can always grab the uh, ooh, I didn't want to attach that in there Let's grab this one here, 
we'll catch this. There we go. All right, and so that looks good. I'm going to grab um, one thing I noticed when I was working on this stuff the other, uh, as I was working on this. I noticed that these don't have uh, top pieces here, so we're going to kind of uh, put in the top kind of pieces here. So, top pieces, um, okay, so we're just going to grab this, I'm going to turn off my snap tool, and I'm going to just collapse all, actually say yes, that's probably going to break my uniqueness here, but oh well, so I'm going to just grab this, move it up like so. Um, add a swift loop in here, add a swift loop in here, and go polygon, grab this, and extrude. Something like that. It doesn't have to be like super, super like done. Um, and then we're just going to have to fix the UV on that, but I'm not worried about that now. And uh, snap it. And that's hotkey yes, by the way, in case you didn't know. I'm um, just going to do an instance. So, so we're just going to start snapping. So, like that, and then we're going to start snapping that, and that goes uh, 90 degrees, I think. Oops. Uh, let's do 90 and 90. All right, so there we go. And so, and we're just, actually, I wonder if I can just do this. Let's do, oh, there we go. We did one more though. And there we are. And then let's do this one here. Just grab one of these pieces and like so say okay rotate uh, do 90 and snap up like that that looks good and so I'm gonna cheat here so one two three four so I'm just Do, oops, there we go. Get right in there. Hold that and snap. And there we go. So that snaps all right in there. That one's good. Um, and I'll clean up the edges later. I'm not worried too much about that right now. And then let's get something here. So I think, I think I'm going to do something a little bit different there. So I'm going to do a variation of this one here. And I'm just going to snap that over here like so. And I'm going to copy it instead of clone it. And let's snap. There we go. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a middle piece here as a, kind of a, a pillar almost. So I'm going to do kind of mid-center here. Um, 
And with the angles off, I'm going to just collapse all here, so yes. And then we're going to go into edges, grab edges, connect, so that gives me one. Let's do two segments, but let's uh, shrink them together a little bit. And like so, and then let's grab in the polygon mode, and I'm going to just grab these here. And I'm going to extrude this outward. Now, extruding it outward looks really bad. But if I grab it and then scale it, something like that. And then we're going to go into vertice mode. And ooh, make sure always your scale is uniform if you're trying to uniform something. So something as simple, stupid as this now becomes kind of a, a grasp piece. And so what I would do is grab this and move back, move that back like that. And that that looks good. Like it's on the roof. I probably won't see it. Um, and so that is that. So like I said, I'm just kind of cleaning up and, and putzing with the little things here today. Um, you know, I'm trying to get all those little things done so that we can kind of get that idea right. Okay, so I'm going to use this and I'm going to grab the shift and we're going to grab that all the way like so and we're going to copy that. And where did it go? No. There we go. Hold this shift all the way over there. Helps to. Alright, so now I'm going to do a snap. And we're just going to snap it like that. Like so. Rotate. Uh, I think 90 negative will rotate it in the right direction. And now, let's see here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. So my snap's on. Move. Hold shift. I'm just gonna kind of make sure it's in the right spot. There we go. And let's do nine. And let's do instant. There we go. So that looks good. So and you can see how really, you know, really simple things like that just take over and kind of kind of build up your 3D really fast. Um, and you know I'm, I'm really needing to like start naming some of these conventions here a little bit more. Um, you can see that you know if I don't start naming some of these conventions it's it's just gonna get chaos because if you go into your uh, your scene explorer here you'll notice that I mean it's just plane after plane after bot objects after you know you know and then if I go into the scene explorer here you know I've got some of it already started um, you know like sidewalk flat sidewalk corner and I can do something like this so I can grab in a layer here and say okay create a new layer out of those objects and so creating a new layer out of those objects gives me now sidewalk corner and I can Oops. Rename that so I can rename that as sidebox, and then I can either go, oh hey, I don't want those in there, or hey, I do, and then I can go, oh, you know what, I want those frozen, and they're frozen. You know, and that's something I'll do off screen, um, but yeah, that that's definitely something that 
needs to be done. Like, I need to go through and I need to, you know, and it's going to, I should have done it while I was doing it, but, you know, I get so kind of distracted. And we all do. Um, so those are things that you really want to kind of pay, pay attention to. Uh, what else we got here? So like I said, I'm just doing a lot of little things today, just starting to clean up and, and kind of do and, and, you know, that type of thing. And so one of the things that I thought would be interesting is um, if we uh, take and start doing a set of... Um, Okay, how do I want to, They're kind of like these little boxes, and they're, they're nothing special. I mean, it's literally, let's just do just a little box like this. Not, uh, and I'm going to test it on, on here. So I'm going to move, snap, and it would actually help to, oh, come on here. Oh, and so that, that might be the other problem here you have. So... Um, if you go into something like this, so we got sidewalks, I created a box here, and so I need to, to move that box up over here, and then I, I can, um, I can then, like, kind of work on it. So whenever, whatever's highlighted, it'll create stuff in that layer, and it's no big deal, I mean, it's just not hard to get out, so, um, so I'm gonna... I'm going to do, I'm going to actually, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to clone this box. I'm just going to kind of give me a base idea of, ooh, um, there we go. So this box is really big. I want it probably about half the size, if that, maybe, yeah. So about half the size, half the thickness. Um, and so we're just going to kind of come over here. And since I've got numbers here, this is always nice. So I'm going to do 0.7. Oh, wait, no, let's do and do that. Let's do one point. Let's do really serious numbers. 1.25, 0 0.7, and we'll do a height. Uh, let's do. 0.75. Yeah, so that just keep it keep it numbered wise. So I'm gonna just grab this and hit delete. Grab this again. And um, I doubt that's even even tinier, so Let's do let's do point five once, and I'm gonna half this. There we go. And I'm just gonna look at this here. I think that's what I want. I think that's what I want. I think about that size. And so what I'm gonna do now is this is I'm gonna just grab this and I'm gonna be call it good here. And then I'm gonna grab this and we're just gonna rotate it uh, 90 degrees, doesn't matter. There we go, laid flat down. And um, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my Spline maker, and I'm going to go viewport top and focus in on the little box here. Okay. And I'm going to go into splines. I'm going to go lines, and I'm going to go turn off my snap, and I'm going to go holding and shift. So, like that. Probably at like a little 45. So I'm going to do one like that. And I'm going to go to interpolation, viewport, render, and see that's way too big. So let's do thickness of about 0.2. That looks about right. 
don't need that many sides, so let's do a side about five. And all right, so we got something simple like this. All right, so now with the vertex into a Bezier corner, corner here. Actually, let's do this into a Bezier. So thing here. Let's do that as a bezier. And I'm going to snap this one in place and that one snapped in place. And let's grab this and just move it down. And so now I have got a little so I'm gonna take this and move it off like this. Take my one little box like that. So, and we're going to take that one and snap it like that, like that, and then we make unique, and we're just going to rotate down here so that you can see what's going on here. So this is just going to wave up like that. And I think what I'm going to do is, actually, let's undo that. Let's grab both of these and lift, lift them up. Oops. There we go. Let's both and lift up with just a hair. Something like that. And then what I'm going to do is, with that in place, grab this and then convert the I'm going to make it make it unique there we go make it unique convert into a poly let's grab the bottom part of this so just like so and hit delete and then edit geometry, attach. So it's only going to attach that one here. So what we're going to do, all right, so I'm going to grab this. This one I'm going to do, let's do 0.75. Convert this to an edible poly. Uh, grab these. Bam. Done. All right. Now here's here's where the fun part. So what we have to do? Just remove that. Okay. If, uh, let me double check and see if the sidewalks is yeah, the sidewalks is still creating stuff. So let's move that up there. So I'm just going to take this and let's see if we can convert this to an edible poly and then let's attach. And there we go. So now we have, and it doesn't seem like much, but now we have a um, little piece that we can kind of play with. So I'm going to just clone this like so say okay and let's uh, go in by poly count and let's move this oops I forgot that was unique so let's like make that unique here and 
go up to the poly count. Let's move this up here, something like this. And, oh wait, you know what? I can't do this this way. This isn't going to work. Well, it will, but it won't. So let's, I'll show you why. So this is now an edit mesh. And so what I need to do is I need to move this up here. Like so. And then what I need to do is I need to basically delete this and start over again. So viewport top focus and then what we can do is we can go into line holding in shift like so all right and then that's going to go to vertice here and we're just going to grab like this and then just kind of something something pretty close to this. I mean I'm not not too worried about like perfection here. You just kind of Something, yeah, something like that. That's fine. And make sure we're kind of in the right areas here, because if we, if the line is just a little bit above, and this is where, yeah, you know, we can simply do this, and then we're going to convert this to an edible poly, and we're going to go into here, grab like this and just simply attach and attach. Now, the other thing is, um, I'll show you this here. So you see this, how bad this is. And if you want to round this out, it's actually really simple. So you grab this. Let's go to the smoothing group here and just crank that up to auto smooth. And so now that looks like an almost you know, perfect tube there. And there we go. And so with a couple of these in mind, can make a couple of these shapes. Um, you know, I can make it. Yeah, I can make a couple of these shapes, and I can do a couple of them. You know, like as pieces. So what I could do is let's go here and just copy this one over here, like so, and then we're going to go into. this and let's oops I keep forgetting about that undo let's make it individual grab this and just simply uh, moving clone to element and there I go you know I've got I've got another like complete piece that I can I can play with or I can, you know, move, like I can grab this. And uh, let's try mirroring it. Oops, oh, I can't do it that way. Let's see if I can do it in here. Um, I don't know if I can or not. Nope, I don't think I can. I'm gonna save it just for giggles here. And we're gonna call it call this one done here. So, okay, so next thing is let's uh, grab one of these bad boys here and let's do um, let's do rotate here. So do it in the there we go. That looks good. And so just a matter of going in now. Let's see if we angle snap will do it. But I just wanna let's do let's do a face here. So we're just gonna slide that off 
to be something like that. And you know, we can take you know, a piece like that. And then we can grab Grab a piece like that, kind of like that in that location. So I'm going to grab this one and uh, let's, let's say OK. And we can just grab that and do it on the Y face here. Say OK and just kind of move it. You know, it doesn't it doesn't have to be you know, it doesn't have to be super perfect but it just gives you an idea of like you know putting little things and, and I mean it just makes makes kind of sense if you will. So I'm gonna just grab this piece and let's rotate that uh, 90 no um, 0 and then 180. There we go. And then we can snap this and So I'm just going to move, you know, move this up like like that. Yeah, something like that. Move this. Let's mirror it. Something like that. Come to something along there. Actually, that looks good. I'm just going to look at the camera once here. So our regular camera, we won't see, I mean, we'll see this piece that looks okay. Um, I'll see that little piece hanging there. That's not bad. Maybe we'll put, maybe we'll put something on the wall here, like kind of going off to the side. I think they'll do that big one piece. And then the other camera, we see that one okay. I think I'm going to put something here, and I'm going to, yeah, I think I'm going to put something in. I think I'm going to take and clone that wall there. So we're going to grab this piece here and we're going to rotate it. Zero and then 90. I think that'll do it. Let me, oops, I need to do it negative 90. All right. And so let's. Move this all the way back here and just kind of piece that up like so. And actually, that actually kind of works well with the do doors, so let's move it up above the door here. And let's move this back over here. And let's do another one. We're just going to move that over here like so. And 
let's mirror that in the X. Say okay. So now there's there's two decent like doorways there. That looks good. And yeah, so that looks pretty solid. All right, so we got that one in place. And I think what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna take, I'm gonna make another car here eventually here. And that will kind of be put in there. Um, so I'm starting to get some of the detail elements down. Um, the next thing I wanna do is, <clears throat> let me see if I've got that actually open here. Nope, I don't. So let's just close all these real quick here. Okay. So what else do I need to do? So the next thing is I'm gonna play with this car here. We're gonna we're gonna have to play with that car. And I know I was gonna do kind of a kind of a scene element here, something you know, like an advertisement, you know, floating advertisement uh, kind of box there. And so um, I think I'm going to do something like this. So I want to see if, nope, it looks like these are all individually copied here. So, all right. So I'm going to do and see some of the times you know when you do this stuff you start looking at things differently right um, you start understanding things a little bit differently and so when I look at this you know my initial thing like you know the street looks actually empty so what I want to do now is I'm going to add in like some type of holographic like I like this angle look so I'm gonna just go here and um, kind of start creating the geometry for this so let's do geometry let's do a box and I'm gonna do I think actually let's not do a box let's do a cylinder and I'm gonna show you why I'm gonna do this so there's my cylinder let's go with three sides turns it into a triangle we're gonna take that out and then we're going to uh, so that's my cylinder if you will I'm gonna call this one um, hollow projector oh oh one okay and so the first thing I'm going to do is let's convert this bad boy. And Polly, let's grab the top here. Scale that down a little bit. I'm going to grab, I wonder if I can. Let's grab the edge here. Actually, let's do this. So, quick loop. One, two, and then, oh. Grab like so, and let's scale like that. And let's grab, I like that shape. So I'm going to see if we can do this all in one fell swoop. So I'm going to chain for that. It looks going to look awful until I go back and 
make sure nothing kind of lines up so that looks good. And then, yeah, I like that idea. Then we're going to grab this, oops, undo, and edges, chamfer, OK. Grab the, I'm going to grab the diagonal surface here. We're going to inset this. Of course, it's going to be inserted to something like this. And we're going to say OK. Grab this down like so, like that. And a little bit awkward, but let's see if we can just rotate it in place here. And slowly push that back like so. And let's extrude. Let's do zero. Something like that. And let's grab that. And then this is where I think I'm going to do something a little bit awkward, um, weird. Um, so I'm going to add a geosphere here. And something small. We're going to change, change down the segments here down to like two. And with a geosphere, we should get about half. It's split right in half. So I'm going to grab that and convert to an about poly. Grab. Um, help to be in polygon mode. Grab that half and let's delete. Grab this. Let's see if we can snap it right up there like so. All right, we're going to snap something like that, and we're just going to uh, all and scale slightly down. Let's move that over a little bit. So the key question, do I need to like attach this and put it in there? And part of me says no. Part of me says, like, yeah, you should really do it. But I don't think I'm going to do it. I think that's, like, for what I'm doing, for the low poly stuff that I'm doing, I think this is fine. So I'm going to grab this, attach here, like so. And so that's our kind of, kind of interesting concept here. And then I'm going to take off my attach, of course. And we're just going to go through here. And let's put this in place of like that. And that, let's take off the bot object, viewport top, and then let's move this let's just do do a holographic projection and see how three looks here and then let's grab this one here and I forgot to make it unique but that's okay um, so we're just going to flip this as a, that looks good, hopefully it didn't flip it upside down, nope, looks good. I'm going to grab this and um, something like that. And let's do one more, there we go. 
move this one just slightly down. And this one on the edge here. Okay, and so these are going to be like holographic types of things. So, all right. And then the nice thing is once I start labeling things, and you can see, you know, like, okay, so here, holo holographic projection 0 through, oops, so 0 through 1. And I can literally go and say, okay, let's do create a new layer. And this one's my, I suppose it helped to rename it here. And we're just going to create hollow project doors. And we can simply freeze it. And then I'm going to go back here and work on my default. And so that is the power of like labeling things and <laughs> actually making it so it works. All right. Um, so let's see here. What else am I going to work on here? So you, you can see I'm just kind of picking things at random that I think need like a little bit of love before I start a new project, like another car here. Um, you know, I just felt like it wasn't getting the sci-fi enough. Um, and, you know, a lot of it's going to be sign work and things like that. So I think for today I'll call it done, and then we will uh, kind of start working on another car here. Um, I'll see what I can do for another sci-fi car real quick, and uh, we'll pop that in there. And I'll start on that next week. All right, thanks.